Joining me on the program today is Steelers head coach Grant Friesen. Now, Grant, uh, this was the year 2022. As we kind of wind down here on the year, it's it's been a it's been a busy year for yourself to say the least. Just having to take on a head coaching role of of a U18 AAA hockey club with the Steelers here. Just um, as the season kind of winds down here in the year itself, um, if you had to kind of reflect on it, just what would some of your thoughts be overall from this year alone? Um, well, I think, like you said, first and foremost, it's busy, especially while you're in season. It's a lot of travel, um, but it, it's been great. We've had a lot of opportunities to travel to different places, different cities, you know, both in Canada and the U.S. So. Obviously, um, kind of in October of 2021, you had you kind of took over the head coaching job, and this is kind of now your first full season kind of coaching this group of girls. Um, I think one of the things that you kind of mentioned to me early on this year was just the work ethic and how impressed you have been with these girls. Just uh, now that you've had a chance to kind of coach these girls full on this season here, just what has what are some takeaways that you've taken from this group and just um, some of the positives that you can kind of talk about with this group here? Yeah, well, I think the first and foremost, like you mentioned, was, you know, the work ethic of our group is, is incredible. Um, and I think the other thing they've done a very good job of is, you know, when you play at the U18 AAA level, it's very busy. You spend a lot of time together, um, and they found a way to do a very good job of, you know, you're not going to like everybody every day, but they've found a way to work together uh, positively. Even on days that maybe you're a little bit tired of somebody, they found a way to still push each other and make each other better in a positive, constructive way. Another thing that I kind of wanted to talk about here that happened this year for you you guys is um, mm -hmm. the fact that you guys had a chance to just most recently go down to Nashville in, yep. a, in a tournament with uh, a number of teams, whether they were in Canada and the United States. Just yep. talk to me obviously about that experience. You guys obviously got the victory there in the tournament, but just the experience a whole of having to travel over to the U.S., see competition from uh, you know, other areas of the U.S. and even in Canada. Just mm -hmm. talk to me about that experience as a whole. Yeah, I, I think, one, it's, you know, it's a great experience when you get the opportunity, especially as a team, to be able to travel to, one, a different country, uh, a new city. Um, Nashville's a, a very fun place to be. There's a lot of, a lot of things going on. So it was great to have the opportunity to go uh, explore a new city with, with our group, for sure. Now, after the season concluded back in March, I believe, for you guys, just what were you looking to implement into the team kind of in the off season here as you kind of went into your first full season coaching this group? But just what were some of the things that you were looking to work on as a coach and try to implement into uh, the team of 20 players or so? Yeah, well, first and foremost is, you know, is the communication. You, you know, as a coach, you, you can never be good enough at communicating, especially when you're managing a bench of 20 people. So. Uh, communication was one, uh, and I think two. You know what I learned from the previous season going into this one it was, I just wanted to have a very detailed plan of what our season was going to look like, what our structure of our group was going to look like. Um, so yeah, it was just having a very detailed plan. And now that uh, you know the season, the year kind of winds down here in 2022, um, heading into the year of 2023, what are some of the things that you're looking to kind of hoping to accomplish, uh, just as a coach and also just with this group, these group of girls? Yeah, I, I think, you know, first and foremost, what we're looking to accomplish as a group is, you know, kind of round our game out um, and start to prepare for playoffs, you know. Um, and then I think, you know, the goal for us from there is just be successful through playoffs. We still have another tournament coming up in uh, Vancouver as well as, you know, another possible tournament out in Manitoba. So just, I think, rounding out our game, getting ourselves ready to go for playoffs. Absolutely. Uh Lastly, I know this is something that everybody asks other people, but uh, for yourself as a coach, any any New Year's resolutions that you kind of have set in place for yourself as a coach and just also just for the team aside some of the things you just mentioned? Um, I don't think I have too, too much personally. I'm, I'm trying to push most towards the group. Um, but I think, you know, maybe a, a resolution for us would just to have more consistency through our in-game play. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Grant, again, best of luck kind of heading into the year of 2023. Yeah, uh, thank you. Grant Friesen of the Steelers head coach as he's looking to give his team a more positive 
outlook kind of heading into the year of 2023. Thanks again for taking the time to talk with me here yeah. at the Service Sports Center. Thank you.